Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Bean, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'm bringing y'all some more heat because y'all continue to show love on my videos, man. I'm bringing y'all the best goal line play in Madden 22, man. So let's hop right into it. All right, y'all, man. In today's video, we're going to be in the formation tight slots. And the play that we're going to be running is going to be RPO re flat wheel. Now, first things first, as usual, if you want to know what play, um, what playbooks have this play information, it will be down below in the description. And on the second note is, I know I dropped the RP, RPO vid um, a few days ago, but that is a more open field type play. This is a guaranteed touchdown within the red zone, no matter what coverage they call, whether it's man or zone, no matter what, it's going to be a touchdown, no matter what. Um, and so, yeah, so let's go ahead and hop right into the setup of this play. Oh, man, this isn't going to be a very, very long video because this is just an RPO. There's no adjustments that you have to make for this play. Um... So it's not going to be too, too long of a video. I just want to show y'all this a few times of it working. And I will be backing myself up a little bit just to show y'all that it worked from, from how far it works um, out from the, the end zone. Um, so right now we're at the one yard line. So let me go ahead and show y'all this. So boom, just go ahead and hit triangle. That is the read you're going to make every single time. And as long as you have a good enough receiver right there, I probably should have told y'all within the intro um, to go ahead and sub your best receiver in right there. But if your receiver, especially if your receiver is like in has superstar abilities or anything like that, or even red zone threat, this play is definitely going to be unstoppable, more unstoppable than it already is. Um, the only real way I know to, how to stop it is the user. And if they use it and they're playing any type of zone coverage, you're going to have so many other options open in the back of the end zone. And the one thing I like to do is when they're doing stuff like that, you can smart route this post route right here from square. So if they do decide to take a middle, middle zone safety from like a cover three or anything like that, you could just hit the post right behind them, and that's going to be an easy completion as well. Let's go ahead and run it again. And like I said, man, it doesn't matter. No matter what it looks like, it's going to be an interception. It's going to result in a touchdown no matter what, man. Um, I'm going to show you all one more time, and then we can go ahead and back up um, a little bit just so I can show you all. So, boom, call hut. And then just go ahead and throw that in there. That's going to be a laser every single time, man. So let's go ahead and back ourselves up right quick. And then I can show you um, a few more times. Clearly see here, I move the ball back to about the three-yard line. And here's where this play kind of works best. But the further back you get, the, the higher risk it is with this play. But the risk is still very, very low at the three, three to five-yard line. I just don't suggest, I don't re recommend running this play. She's again talking this bit. I don't recommend running this play beyond the five yard line because it's not going to result in a touchdown. And I will be showing y'all the five yard line. Um, this play being ran from the uh, five yard line after I showed this. So right now we're at the three yard line, basically the same read before this play is like I said, I like the smart route that post and square. Um, you can hit that route from the three yard line. Here's where I like to use it. Um, it's a little bit better just because of it's a lot less riskier with the user because when you're on the one yard line, that, if they have a safety at middle linebacker, they're going to be able to jump that from the line of scrimmage. So I don't really recommend throwing it to the back of the end zone. Um, and that's why triangle, there's really the least amount of risk within this play is because it's somewhere that there's no user going to be. If you're playing against somebody who's using the outside of the field or anything like that, you should be abusing those middle zones and things like that. So let's go ahead and run it. So like I said, you want to look to that post when you're um, more so to where's that post when you're on a three yard line. Um, and I'm, I'm going to show you all this triangle route right quick just to show you how that works too as well. So just boom. So as y'all can clearly see, the triangle route still works, but the post is just that much better from the three yard line. Um, so I do recommend hitting the post from the three yard line. So boom. So as y'all can clearly see, because no matter what zone they're in, there's always going to be a gap. And especially if you have a, a receiver with a route tag, they're in man coverage that your um, receiver should be able to beat that guy. Um, on that post route right there. Um, and so, yeah, so that should um, wrap it up for the three yard line. Let's go ahead and move back to the five yard line so we can have this bit. All right, John, man. As y'all can clearly see, I've moved the ball to the five yard line. Now, for this play from the five yard line is where you have to just go ahead and commit to that triangle route um, or R1 if need be. If you recognize that they're playing like super heavy coverage towards that side of the field, just go ahead and take your underneath from R1. That flat should be open if triangle isn't. Um, and so, yeah, so let's go ahead and call hut. Boom. As y'all can see, easy dot towards the outside of the field, man, for triangle. He gets wide open just because the CPU thinks it's a run 
from this play because it is an RPO, you feel me? So they're kind of thinking it's a run. If you are going against opponents who's calling nickel, like stupid dime nickel defense, defenses down and they go in the goal line, go ahead and take the run and hand it off to your halfback. But as you can clearly see here, it's multiple linebackers on the field and multiple defensive linemen. So we're just going to go ahead and take triangle on the outside, man. And the thing about this play is their DBs are going to run into, into, um, each other and things like that, which is going to are enjoying these bangers. I'm dropping for y'all. Please hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, please sub up. We're on the road to 1k, man. We almost there, man. We got about 960, man. So let's go ahead and hit that big 1k, man. And comment down below what type of vids you like to see from me in the future. And it's boy Bean, and I'm out. Jumping the coop and go top speed. I can't believe that they cross me. Young nigga be shining like all.